this up. Somebody sitting at home right now watching going, well, what's the show about? Okay, so last season I had a downward spiral. It yeah. was bad. It got rough. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Crazy okay? things happen. We're okay now. Okay, you know? okay. Well, are we? Daphne and I. <laughs> okay. 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 Basically, the show is about two girls who were switched at birth. We would be both of those girls. One of them happens to be deaf. Okay. This uh -huh. Were you born that way? Uh, no, I, uh, Daphne lost her hearing at the age of three. At okay. age three. Okay. And All so right. I, that's something we play with a lot on the show. Like, okay. that could have very easily had been my character had right. the switch never have happened. So, so we have, like, what if episodes? All the time. And we, we play with that idea of identity and nature versus nurture, what makes a family, all those things. And um, we're coming back this season um, having lost one of our parents, my biological father, the father that would have raised her. And it weighed very heavily on Katie's character to the point mm -hmm. where she committed acts of vandalism like big time like felony worthy oh. acts of vandalism mm -hmm. no yep. but see the problem was this wasn't yeah, my first... that was it the problem <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a problem. but no this wasn't my first issue mm -hmm. so when it came time to like fess up to things i couldn't necessarily fess up because I would then be a felon and th Did you blame that it would on not your go over so well. I didn't blame it on her. On her. I volunteered. It was all her choice. You took a hit? Yeah. She took oh. a hit. She was going to go to med school. My character's an artist. <laughs> she didn't get into art school. She was like, what have I got to lose? Art <laughs> well, I, okay. Let, 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 let me see a clip. I yeah, want to see what's going on here. So, so this is right before Bay's uh, first day at community service. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. At community service. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the ride. Hey, so if you need anything while you're out here, just call me. Like a hat or sunscreen or a drink. Daphne, just stop. It's really not a big deal. I, I, I appreciate everything that you have done to thank me, but what I really want is for things to just go back to normal between us. I'm not going to just sit back and live my life while you... But that is exactly what I want you to do. So, did the both of you have to learn American Sign Language for the show? Um, I had to learn. I, I didn't know uh, sign language before the show. Like, in elementary school, they, like, teach you the alphabet, teach you how to spell your name. And um, through working on Switched at Birth, I found out I've been spelling my name wrong. <laughs> Um, Do you know what you were spelling? Yes, I was saying Venerara because no, no. I was using an R instead of an S. So that that was incorrect, and I didn't know that until working on hey, Katie, Switched at Birth. And did you learn? Uh, you know what? I knew sign language since high school. Um, I was really bad at Spanish, so I took sign language at my oh. high school instead. And, um, nice workaround. Yeah, right? And I, I kept up with it, and I never thought it would come back in such a big way, but I actually have something called Meniere's disease. What is that? It's a problem with fluid retention in the inner ear. So something like three million Americans have this, but it's very often misdiagnosed. So I'm really gra grateful for Switch to be able to, you know, have a platform to talk about it and sure. sort of expose what it is. When did you discover this? Um, when I was like 20. So you get uh, pressure in the ear, ringing in the ear, fluctuating hearing loss, and attacks of vertigo. And it can come and go at any time. Really? So did, is there a treatment for it? Is there a cure for it? Um, mostly it's a uh, low sodium diet, and then they can put you on a diuretic to try to flush out the, the excess fluid. fluid. But sure. really, it's there's not a whole lot of huge like advances in, in terms of medically trying to manage what happens. So vertigo, well, good yeah. for you, though, well, for spreading you, the word. Yeah, but you recently filmed an unprecedented episode where the whole thing was done in sign language. Mm -hmm. So the whole cast, the everybody, entire episode. Uh, an entire episode with subtitles I believe yeah. On, on oh, yeah there's like two yeah. spoken lines like one in the very beginning and then one at the end and then the rest is like you just hear ambient noise and there's no spoken it, it takes you into being in the world of, of being a deaf person we're gonna see we're yeah. gonna share some of this with our audience do you know what what, what is that yeah so in this scene um, Daphne is um, sneaking into the house very very late at night and uh, will awaken the family okay
you to stop and watch and pay attention to yeah. what's going on. Why was it important for you to have that episode because well, that's a big risk people are like is my TV not working oh it's a right. huge risk and it's funny because our our show every every episode there's I would say at least two scenes that are sign only so it's only caption it like forces sure. and no matter what episode you're watching a switched at birth there are two scenes where you cannot be on your computer you cannot be on your phone you have to look up and actually watch, watch the episode and, and read what's happening otherwise you won't know what's happening and and that's a tremendous risk in itself but to do an entire episode like that I'm so grateful for ABC Family because I don't think another network would have taken that risk sure. and, and, and put put that out there. But it, it's something that we wanted to do from the beginning. I know the creator of our how show are you, wanted to do it. How is this addressing the culture, though, of yeah. the deaf community? Like, the what do you want to try to, to, yeah. to educate the viewers on? You know, um, for, for me, if I'm speaking to a hearing audience, one of my biggest pet peeves, and it's, it is a pet peeve, but... Um, we often refer to people um, who are deaf as hearing impaired, like as a, a hearing society often mm -hmm. refers to them that way. That's rude. <laughs> Why is it's, that considered? Well, it makes because, them less yeah. than. Exactly. Yeah. Just, just the word impaired feels less than and, and kind of yeah. downgraded. So really the, the correct term is like hard of hearing or deaf. And it's sure. okay to say, are you deaf? Like that's not a rude question. And right. I think... Um, the two worlds right now are very separate. Switched at birth kind of bridges the gap a little bit. And, and that's what I really appreciate about our show is like, we're all on the same level. Yeah. And, and we'd really try to show that with, with yeah. Switched. And something I took away from being on the show is I, I came from not knowing sign language, not knowing any deaf person, just being a hearing person. And um, I mean, I, I've learned through meeting the deaf community how proud they are of being deaf. It's not sure. something that you necessarily, like you think someone who's in a wheelchair doesn't want to be in a wheelchair. Someone who's blind wants to be able to see. The deaf community loves being deaf. They love sign language. Language. And it is such a beautiful language that I think has combined them so much, mm -hmm. and that's something that the show introduces to a hearing audience that sure. we can appreciate in a different way. Yeah. Well,